Oops, she did it again. The annoying, odd, and not so cunning AOC made headlines again for all the wrong reasons. The bartender turned clueless congresswoman has had a tough time remaining humble, living off that nearly $200,000 government salary, driving a Tesla to work every day. But now people are waking up to her charade. At her latest town hall in Queens, AOC's true inner elite rose to the surface when hit with a dose of reality. <laughs> Dancing and mocking constituents is as shameful and immature as it gets, but seeing how happy she was there all makes sense, if you recall how AOC views dissent. Now, take note, if you disagree with AOC, it just means you're mad that you can't date her. You know, see, when you and I see a room full of fed up voters, AOC sees a room full of people who want to take her home. Basically, that town hall was the bachelorette midterm edition for AOC. Tina Forte is the Republican challenger that AOC is too scared to debate, and she joins me now. Tina, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey, so, you know, AOC may be part of the so-called Democrat squad, but I think you are the GOP answer to that squad. We are so glad to have you with us tonight. Um, you know, this is the second time in a week that AOC was heckled at a town hall. So from what you gather, which way do these protesters lean politically, and why are they so upset? Well, she's out of touch with everyone. Her, her policies are the direct blame for what's going on in our streets and in this district. And as a congresswoman, she should be listening to all her constituents on both sides, whether she agrees or she disagrees with them. And what she did last night was a complete disgrace. When the lights went out and she went and hid behind that curtain, she should have stood there because she cannot face the people. She mocked them, she was condescending, and she was rude. And that should not happen. She wants to defund our police, yet they had to hide her behind a curtain when the lights went out. Her own security. So she should have stood there behind the curtain because she's a useless congresswoman. Yeah, she's, I think she's pretty pathetic. And, you know, at least, though, she was kind of honest about her stances early on. I mean, she was openly a socialist outsider. She wanted to disrupt the established order. But as we see too often in Washington, these politicians don't follow through with their promises. I mean, AOC towed the party line with Joe Biden more than 90 percent of the time, just like Pelosi did, uh, the one that she supposedly is feuding with all the time. Why do you think, Tina, that is? And tell us what we can expect from you if you're elected. Well, first, you auditioned for the part. So right there, that, that should tell you something right there. For me, I would be for the people. I am for the people. I would listen to everyone, whether they agree with me or they don't agree with me. I am here because I am fighting for our freedoms, and I'm fighting against these very policies that AOC stands for. Because well, this country was founded on freedoms, and she's wrong for what she did last night. I'll call her out on it. She was wrong, and I would love for her to debate me. Because we would this love country to watch is that. headed in the wrong direction. That would be an incredible debate, Tina, um, something I think a lot of our viewers would like to see. And, you know, we're watching New York very closely because, of course, the race for governor is, is heating up. We've got the RCP average of polls right now redefining the race between Hochul and Lee Zeldin as a toss-up in a state that hasn't had a Republican governor in more than 15 years. So can a blue state like New York be flipped red? And what are you seeing on the ground uh, to indicate that? I'm seeing a lot on the ground. I was just endorsed by the Jewish community, the Bangladesh community, Reverend Ruben Diaz from the Latino community. A lot of people are waking up to this. They don't want this anymore. Democrats are coming over to the right. And like I said, Republican, Democrat, you have a hard time circling in that little law, cover it up and vote for the people with the correct policies that want to fight for our rights and our freedoms, that want to change what's going on. Because right now, you have Democrats. They run the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Were we better off now than we were three years ago? No. So we need change, and the change starts with the Republicans.
Yeah, and that change is coming very soon on November 8th. I think we're going to see uh, a lot of pro surprises uh, on November 8th. I think we're going to see a lot of more deep blue areas turning red. Uh, very much looking forward to that. But before I let you go, Tina, I'm sure that you've heard about New York's tent city for all the illegal immigrants that have been coming in. And it's amazing. They have it really great, if you ask me. They've got video games, phones, flat screen TVs, popcorn machines, all expenses paid, uh, South American cuisine. I mean, it sure would have been nice to get some of these luxuries for maybe our homeless vets, but it, you know, it just shows oh, where the, yes. the Big Apple's priorities are. I mean, talk to yes. us about how you would work in Congress uh, and with Mayor Adams, if need be, to address this situation. First of all, I'm an America first patriot, so Americans come first. I was the one that was at Orchard Beach on October 1st, and I declared it Adopt an Illegal Immigrant Month and Day, because 81 million strong, you voted for Biden, then you should have came to Orchard Beach and you should have adopted an illegal immigrant. The border needs to be closed. Period. And as a congresswoman, I would not allow sanctuary cities. I will hold back federal funding to the states that push for sanctuary cities. And also, they, the border needs to be closed. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of change that New York and this country needs. Tina Forte, great to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless you. You as well.